What's up YouTube, it's Buckshot33 aka Boss and Chris and I'm here with a brand new video. I'm gonna go ahead and get into this one because this is actually a really really uh, I'm really excited for this video. Um, so, um, really cool thing that's been happening with my videos is that I've gotten to um, get into my top 10 list a whole bunch and um, my last uh, I think it was like my last four videos, I've ended up being able to pick up something that was on my list. Um, and so this one is just one I'm really, really excited about. Um, I got um, this book from The Contender. Um, if you're not familiar with his channel, um, check him out, uh, Contender. Um, he, uh, you know, has some really, really good books. Um, he's kind of a, uh, you know, newer collector. He's actually just, you know, started up recently. But this dude has some serious, serious books. Like he has a couple comic haul videos that make me drool every time I see him. I'm like, oh my god, he got. I mean, and it's just crazy to think that you know a guy just starting out just has so many key and clutch books. So um, you know, uh, I, I went ahead and I talked with him, and um, you know, he went ahead and um, you know uh, sent me uh, you know just a comic that I was looking for. But you know, we made a deal for it, so. Um, you know, I was able to pick this up from him, so I bought it off him. And um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm like I'm saying, I'm, I'm so excited that I keep, you know, kind of babbling about what's going on. So let's get into this. Let's open this box and let me show you what Contender, um, you know, hooked me up with. So here we go. Get my razor out. And you know, like always, this guy's the man. Do not fold or crush, please. So and um, you know. The inside of the package, as soon as I picked it up, you know, I could tell that this was really, really um, taken care of well. So, um, you know, if you, um, if Contender comes on to the live shows um, that We Love Comics does, the silent auctions, um, you know, definitely, um, you know, see what, you know, if he's selling some books, they're going to be some good books. So, you know, um, you know, like I said, check out his channel, um, you know, and if he ever gets on the live comic show, I'm sorry, the um, silent auction on uh, Sundays, you know, definitely pick him up. Because, I mean, just to show you how this guy did the book, like, you know, this is, you know, in, in a mailer. It's, you know, book is nice and secure. So, I'm very, very happy with this. Contender, you, 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 you did it, dude. Trust me. So, opening that. Go ahead and cut that out there. Oh wow. So let me see here. Oh nice. Alright, so oh man. Hold on. Alright everybody, I'm back. So uh, <laughs> I ended up getting a phone call in the middle, so I paused the video. But I'm back to, um, you know, go ahead and just uh, continue with the unboxing that I received. And so, let me just get all this stuff together. All right. So, all right, now I know the book that I got. So I'm going to have you guys just, you know, chill out on that one. Because he sent me, he actually sent me a stack of books, which is pretty cool. Um, you know, so thank you very much, Contender. This is awesome. Um, so here we go. So he sent me along with the book that um, I purchased from him, Deadly Foes of Spider-Man number one. And this is a four-part miniseries. So here's number one. It's a pretty sick cover. Um, I'm trying to see who does this cover. Um, oh, uh, I think it's Al Milgram. And it's a pretty sick cover. You got Spider-Man, Rhino, uh, who's that up there? The Fly, uh, Hydro Man. And uh, boomerang. So Spider-Man's in some trouble in this one. Then we got number two. Deadly Foes of Spider-Man number three. I like this cover. Shaka's and then the rest of them are just kind of hanging back, getting ready to. I mean, they, they can't wait to see Spider-Man get his. Let's see, got ourselves number. four. I mean, looking at these covers, and I've never read this story before, but Spider-Man <laughs> does not look like he's in a good, like he's in trouble. You got 
a whole bunch of guys going after uh, you know going after him, but it looks like they might have changed turned uh, their focus onto each other just because you see uh, you know uh, Boomerang and the Fly getting into it, and then it looks like Hydra Man and Rhino are having a little bit of a fight. And I don't know what that dude's running around that girl for, but I have to read it and find out. All right. Oh wow, this is awesome. Thank you, Contender. I didn't even know that this was in there. This is sick. Punisher War Journal number one. The first issue. I like this cover a lot because he's just sitting there taking dudes out. And, uh, you know, with the Punisher series coming up um, on Netflix, you know, this is going to be, uh, you know, just something that's really cool to have in my collection. So thank you very much. All right. So without further ado, the book. All right. Hold on. We're going to have a little bit more ado. <laughs> All right. So just to get everybody familiar, here is my list. And I am going to cross one off of this list. The question is, which one? Which one do you guys think it is? Is it another part of the Wolverine miniseries? Actually, hold on. Let me fix my list. Because it was pointed out to me that I had made a mistake. And I did. Infinity Gauntlet does not have 12 issues. Infinity Gauntlet has 6 issues. So, let me just completely... You know, one through six. Here we go. Penny Gauntlet one through six. And let's see. Is it more of the Watchmen series? Possibly. It's one book, so I don't think it would be anything like that. I'll give you guys a hint. It's not that. Jimmy Olsen 134. Ultimate Fallout. X Factor number six. Or Shazam number one. All right, give you guys a second or two to, you know, put in your minds what you think it is. And you can tell me, uh, you know, let me know what you guessed, and that's fine. You know, I, I want to see what you guys think it might have been. All right, here we go. The book that I got from Contender is Shazam numero uno. Shazam number one. And, um, you know, this is just, you know... Great pickup for me. Um, it's definitely one of the uh, more expensive books on my list. And, um, you know, it's been going up in value, you know, just since they announced the movie. It's not coming out to 2019. So, you know, three years from now, basically now two and a half years, um, you know, I'm hoping that the potential for this book goes way up because this is his second appearance. I'm sorry, this is his first appearance since the Golden Age. Um, so, you know, he missed the entire Silver Age. And this is the first time you see him again in a, you know, I guess more modern book. So, um, you know, this is definitely one to get if you don't have it. Definitely try to pick this up. Um, they start to get a little bit pricey now on, you know, the up and around this, you know. You can find, um, you know, I, I would say like mid to lower mid grade for, I think in the 30, 30 to, you know, maybe like $16, $17 range. Um, if you're looking for a high grade copy, and this is, um, let's see, I would say, just speculating. I mean, the the cover looks nice. There's nothing wrong with it, and as far as um, you know, there's just a little bit of a. Let me pull this closer. A um, little bit of issue with the cover in the back, like on this little corner right here. Nothing bad though. Just you know, just normal wear. Um, and I'm not gonna. You know, for the benefit of uh, my friend Splash Page Comics, I'm not going to take it out and, you know, rifle through it. Um, just because this is, you know, definitely a book that, you know, I value highly. So, um, you know, I was I would estimate this is probably in the uh, 7.0 range. Um, you know, you never know. But with that, you know, it's definitely a book to get. Um, so for this book, um, you know, Contender and I, you know, we, we um, you know, met at a price so I ended up paying $65 um, for this which is definitely a fair price based on you know how things are going so at this point um, you know I'm getting a pretty you know decent level um, you know book for you know g generally good price I would say in about two more years or maybe you know two to three more years it's going to be you know very expensive to get this book especially in a high grade it's going to be extremely expensive so um, you know, glad to be able to have it now. 
So thank you again, Contender. And as always, it's time to cross. Oh, let me get in the frame here. Cross it off the list. All right. So just a recap of what I've done so far. So as far as single books go on my list, I only need X Factor 6, Ultima Fallout 4, Jimmy Olsen 134, which is expensive. I don't know if I'm going to be able to pick that up. Um, you know, I'm going to have to save up some money to get that one, but or make a deal or two or see what happens. Um, and then the Watchmen series, I have to update that a little bit. Um, you know, uh, Infinity Gauntlet series. Still gonna try to see if I can, you know, get all these. Um, I, I might just, you know, have to do a little picking and choosing and pick up, you know, little ones. And, and then the Wolverine series. So overall, I mean, as far as things cross off my list, I have one, two, three, four, and a couple here and there, a uh, the couple off this, bunch off of this one. So I have four straight out books off my list. So I'm, I would say about halfway, just because if you let me get the um, my other paper here we go so and then I have about half of the Watchmen series to go so I would say I'm about four and a half books in um, and I, I, I could probably I mean initially when I first started this I didn't think I would end up completing it I think I have a really good shot at completing it before the year is over um, you know I just try to do my best to um, look for the best deals I can get and to, um, you know, definitely, you know, do my best to, um, you know, see what is out there. So, you know, I, I may actually start a separate list um, just in case I do finish this one early, which would be sick, but who knows? Anyway, um, so yeah, I'm really happy um, that I got these. Um, and I just want to thank Contender again. I know I, I love thanking people when they, when they um, you know, help me out with these type of things. So, um, you know, I'm just, you know. I'm always grateful, so um, just wanted to thank Contender. I want to thank you for watching the video. Um, please, uh, you know, go ahead and leave a comment. Um, give me a like if you like what you see. And also, if this is your first video and you haven't seen any of my other ones, go back and watch some of my other videos. But also, give me a subscribe if you like what you're watching. I'm, you know, more than happy to go ahead and make these videos and entertain you guys as much as I can. Um, so, um, with that, I'm gonna get going. Again, this is Boston Chris, aka Buckshot 33. Um, before I do go, I'm gonna go ahead and leave the link for Contender in my description. So go ahead and check out his um, his channel. He's got some really cool stuff on there. Um, you know, you know, show him some support, show him some love, because I mean, like I said, he he's a really good guy, and he's also got some really really awesome um, you know books that he's been showcasing you know in his different halls that he's picked up. So um, check him out. Anyway. Um, again, so this is Boston Chris, a.k.a. Buckshot33, and just want to let everybody know, have yourself a great night, um, happy collecting, and I don't know, get ready for Comic Book Wednesday, because it's, uh, Tuesday, um, so, I don't know, <laughs> other than that, I'm babbling again, but, um, again, so, thank you for watching, I'm out.